on our free Fox 5 app. All right. Well, it was a tale of two football teams on Sunday for NFL fans in the D.C. region. Fans of the Washington <laughs> football team probably not as happy as those who are fans of the team up in Baltimore. Wisdom joins us to break it all down. All right. Here, here we go. What's up with the record? All right. We're going to start with the good news. Uh, historic kick for the Baltimore Ravens, Justin Tucker. 66-yard field goal to win yesterday's game against the Lions is now the longest-made field goal in history. It, it wasn't the prettiest kick for Justin Tucker in his entire career. The ball bouncing off the crossbar and through the uprights, but it's history either way. Ravens improved to 2-1 and one on the season, and, and the Detroit Lions just another way for them to lose a football game. They're used to it. It's just, it's just been that way for them all the time. Look at this. <laughs> on, the own, on their own 40, Hits the crossbar. Damn. Previous record held by, that's right, Holly and Steve Matt Prater, who kicked a 64 yarder in 2013 and a 62 yarder as well. Same guy. He huh. broke that record. This Justin Tucker. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. Why am I doing that, Holly? Because he's an opera singer. That's right. Learned that from Bugs Bunny. The Figaro part, not that he was an opera singer. Leopold. Leopold. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Enough with the old cartoon references. Now let's talk about. Uh, a rough day for the Washington football team in Buffalo. The Bills offense blowing through Washington's defense, putting up 43 points while Washington was held to just 21. Washington falls to one and two, putting them in third place in the NFC East. Now, here's head coach Ron Rivera after the game. We got a long way to go. The truth of the matter is we got beat today, and uh, the, th the things that we have to correct, we will most certainly continue to work on. We had a couple opportunities on, on, on defense to make some things happen and we didn't get it done. And uh, that's the truth of the matter. Offensively, uh, I think um, getting in the situation we did a couple times, I thought Taylor pressed a little bit and tried to make a little bit more happen than he needed to. All right, Cowboys and Eagles will play tonight for first place in the NFC East. Steve, one of the things we talked about a couple yep. of weeks ago was that defense uh, when before the season started, how they were supposed to be so good. Mm. And now... Mm. It's not looking so They've good. They've given up more points each week as the season has yeah. gone on. Yeah. Um, I watched the, the Justin Tucker field goal, right. the video, the shot where you see the ball go through the end zone and the fans behind right. it. Yeah. I watched that a hundred <laughs> times to see a different face in yeah. each video. <laughs> and first the Lions fans celebrate when it right, hits right, the right. break, and then it's just that, oh, we're Detroit fans. It's like the agony of defeat. How, how's it, how does it go in opera? La, 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 no, la, it's not la, over till la, the fat lady la, sings, la, la, and Justin Tucker was the fat lady. I think Right, after he that, said, it should be that's over. what it was. There you go. After that, it should be over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, thank you. I appreciate the references and the deep dive into Justin Tucker's uh, other. Uh, I don't even want to call it a hobby. He's really no, good. No, he's as good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>